you, uh, Tony. Well, I have to take advantage of uh, privileges of being the last speaker. Less uh, pressure. Let me go through uh, protocol. Uh, Secretary Mon, Secretary Boy, uh, Yusek Kita, Yusek Kuyang, uh, Butch. Of course, uh, I have here uh, one of my five Yuseks in the DICT, uh, Yusek Bradley. And one of five ASECs in the DICT, uh, ASEC Money. <clears throat> Fellow public servants, partners in the private sector, friends from the media, <coughs> fellow Filipinos, uh, good afternoon to all of you. I have a confession to make. That, uh, sino buka kong iwasan ito? But when I was informed that uh, Secretary Mon and Secretary Boy were coming, uh, I could not uh, pass up the opportunity, even in a supporting role for the DICT. Share a simple message with you. So I will start with my formal message. And then uh, shortly I will tell you what I really want to share with you. This week has really been productive for all of us. We successfully held the first ever Philippines Startup Week 2019 where innovative startups and startup enablers gathered to empower one another through sharing of experiences, forging partnerships, and learning from industry experts. So today, we signed implementing rules and regulations of Republic Act Number 11337 or the Innovative Startup Act. The purchase of this act last April has already been a momentous feat for the Philippine startup community. But with the signing of the law, IRR, we are now, I was going to say armed, we are now equipped. Para there is no uh, unwarranted connotation. <clears throat> we are now equipped with the framework needed to fully realize the goals and objectives of the law. Kumbaga sa pagkapasa ng RA 11337, may sasakti na tayo patungo sa mas malago at maunlad na startup community sa Pilipinas. Pero sa pagkakapirma ng IRR, ng batas, meron na tayong gasolina para patakbuhin ng ating sasakyan. So with this, the DICT, your DICT, will do its part in the implementation of law, even in a supporting role, because uh, as our MC said, Tony said, ang mission ng DICT ay connectivity. So, among this, yung gagawin namin, with the creation of the Startup Philippines website, which will serve as a primary source of online database of information on statistics, events, programs, as well as benefits for startups, startup enablers, and related enterprises in the Philippines. And of course, kasama rito yung incentives to support them in participating in these events and competitions. So, mahaba talaga yung journey natin. We yeah, have a long journey ahead of us. With the concerted efforts of your DOST, MDTI, and DICT, together, I underscore the word together, with our partners from government, private and academic sectors, we will surely reach our destination. Now let me go to what I want to tell you clearly. There is a subtle message to start up. If you look at our history, especially for young people like you, we have been perpetually locked into medium-term development planning. New president, new medium-term policy. Kasama pa dyan yung slogan from Philippines 2000 to isang bansa, isang diwa, a strong republic para sa mahirap dang matuwid. Now, change is coming. Ano ba ang hinihingi sa atin ng mga gustong tumulong sa atin? Domestic 
or global. They want an expression of commitment, long-term commitment. And it must begin with our startup endeavors. For your DICT, the mission is connectivity. Sabi ni Presidente, sa aming tatlo, at medyo sa akin nakatingin nun. Sabi niya, your mission is connectivity. Connect government to other governments, domestic and global. Connect government to business. Connect government to the citizens and everybody to itself. And do this faster, cheaper, if not free, and in a more secure manner. Ladies and gentlemen, why do we do this? Why am I doing this? When you are, when you reach my age, where you have more yesterdays than tomorrows, you question the meaning of life and ask yourself, why did I do what I did in the past? And the answer is very simple. We are doing this for the country, for our people, especially for our next generation of citizens and leaders, our children, our most strategic, renewable, and precious resource. That is what startup means. Setting on a fire, startup, innovative projects all over the country until we develop a sense of long-term strategic planning that will benefit and do justice to our purpose, that given purpose, our country, and our people. Thank you for listening.